Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to talk about how to get Unity 2017 to move a player around using the arrow keys. So I'm going to start off by creating a brand new project. So just click on new and I'm going to go into new Unity project 2017 move character. Make sure it's a 3D uh, project, click create project. Okay, so you can see I have nothing in it um, except my main camera and a directional light. So outside of these objects, uh, I'm going to right click 3D object plane. So I have a plane on the floor. And then I'm also going to click out of that and then right click uh, 3D objects and a cube. And I'm going to drag this cube up a little bit. Okay, so because I want to move this cube around, I'm going to need a, um, a rigid body. Okay, otherwise it's not going to be affected by gravity. So make sure you click add component, click rigid body. And then if you click play, uh, it'll fall onto the plane. But um, right now the plane is positioned uh, above the camera. So we're going to fix that. So just click on the plane and click reset and click on the cube and click reset and move it up a little bit okay so now if I play the game the cube falls onto the floor and you can see the cube now you can see that the cube has a white color which makes it a bit hard to see so I'm going to go to my into my project and I'm gonna right click create a material I'm going to say cute uh, player material and I'm going to change the color so click the color next to albedo which is basically the skin color just give it a different color and then drag this material onto the cube so it's a white cube um, on the white plane I'm also going to move the camera up a little bit so click on the camera, drag the up arrow and rotate it in the X axis down a bit so you can see the level a little bit better. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start coding the cube. So click on the cube, click add component and I'm going to create a new script and name the script cube control because I'm going to use it to control the cube create an add and you can see the script is created here now to edit the script just click on the cube and where it says cube control click on the gear icon and click on edit script and that should open up the coding for the script okay so down the bottom if it says something like this lot this file has line endings which different from policy setting just click OK something to do with how the code is encoded in different operating systems uh, anyway um, just click OK to convert to Windows um, format and then uh, so let me explain this coding to you um, there are basically two sections where you can enter code it's either in the start section which means the code will only be executed once or in the update section where the code is going to be executed every single frame repetitively. So you should probably put it inside the um, inside the update section. We're just going to try something that I've showed you previously before, but we'll try it again. And that is we're going to use transform dot translate 
Now, what is transform? Refer to transform. Refer to the component transform that is attached to this object. So this transform component. So under the transform component, there is a procedure or a function that we can use called translate. And inside translate, basically, you specify um, how you want the object to move. Okay, uh, so if you put zero, 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 then obviously it's not going to move in any location. Uh, but if you specify a number, for example, x is one, okay, then it's going to move one unit in the x direction every single frame. So if I save this and I run the game, look what happens. Okay, it speeds up, speeds up off the level. Why is that? Why does it do that? Because one unit is actually equal to one meter in real life. So if you have a look, this cube is currently one uh, unit in the x-axis. So the width of the box is one unit, right? If you move it one unit, for example, that's one unit there. That's two units, so it's going to move one unit every frame. Now, every frame, there are 30 frames in a second. So it's basically going to move 30 meters in one second. So that, uh, sorry, am I right? I think so. Anyway, it's going to move a very long distance in one second, which we don't want. So if I try, for example, changing the code to 0 0.1, it should slow down a bit. So if I save that, run the game. Now, as soon as you uh, create a decimal point, you have to use the word F, the letter F, to represent that you want a floating point number. You want a decimal. So save that again run the code and you can see that the box is moving a little bit slower so now we want it to only move when we press a key on the keyboard okay so what key do we want well we could use for example the right key when we press the right key the box moved to the right now, one thing that I'm going to help you guys that will help a lot, I'm going to tell you guys that will help a lot with your coding is if you go to Google and you just type in um, input.getKey. So basically anything you want to look up that's related to Unity. Okay, so you just type Unity and then the code you want to look up. It'll bring up the basically a user manual with all of the language features inside unity and it's called the scripting api and so basically it says that um, if you want to detect whether a key is pressed it tells you what code it explains it all that so it's really good so it says under the update function we're going to say if a key is pressed we can move a key in that direction okay so let's try that so let's go if get key get um hang on a second it's input dot get key bracket up so input dot get key bracket quotation mark up if the up key is pressed then now make sure you use a brace not a bracket after the if, if statement to represent the code that is going to be executed um, if this condition is satisfied so if the input key is pressed uh, sorry, the up key is pressed, translate the object. Okay, so let's save it. Control S to save it. Go back and run the program. And you can see if I press the up key, 
If I press the up key, it'll move the box to the right. Which doesn't make sense because we want the right key. So let's just change the word up to right and see if it works. Save it, control S, and run the game again. If I press the right key, it moves to the right now. Okay, so let's just program up, down, left, right into the game. So let's just copy and paste this. So we have up, down, left, right. Actually, I'm just going to leave the right one. So if I have left, obviously I want it to move negative 0.1 F. Okay, and what if I want to go forward? Up. Now let's try the which axis do we want it to move in. So if I run the game, go back to scene view, hold down the right key. Oops. Hold down the right key. If, when you hold down the right key, the x-axis moves. So vertically, the y-axis stays the same. So the z-axis, right? Because green is the y-axis. So when you move to the right, the x-axis changes. So when we move to the left, we want the z-axis to change. So let's just try that. So let's just try... Changing that back to zero, I'm going to zoom in a bit on the code and then change it to 0.1F on the Z axis and 0.1F on the Z axis for down. Save and let's run this again. So if I go up, right, left, up down oh forgot the negative forgot the negative sign down here save it control s run the game again and you can see it's now moving the box using my arrow keys which is awesome Okay, uh, that's it for this tutorial on moving the box with your arrow keys. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.